connecting your Canon to the computer, you're going to get this to pop open. This little window says EOS Utilities 2, and we're going to click on Let's Use Select and Download Images. Let's click on that. When we do that, we have a bunch of images we can select. We can click on boom, doom, doom, or you can do a, um, let's see what this is, select all right here, this drop down. Or you can do a shift click all of them, or you can do a command click to select just a couple of them. If you want to click command uncheck some of them, you can do that. And then down here it says download. Click on the download button. Then it's going to ask you where do you want this destination folder. Click on destination folder. I put my destination folder on the desktop so I can just snag it and throw away things. Just edit it right then and there, right here, desktop. And I click OK. And then download images, shooting date, that's fine, year, month, yada, 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 and then click OK. You can customize that if you want, click OK. And then it goes right to my desktop. Here it is. I can open this up, and we can see the images over here being downloaded. And then I have them right in here, the CR2s. All right, so you can click on one on a Mac and press the space bar to see which one you like. Press the down arrow to see the next one. And press the down arrow to see the next one. And then press space bar for it to go away again. And then you can click on any one of these. Let's click on the last one, double click on it. And it will open up in camera raw. And then you can press on auto if you need to, or default, and figure out which way you want it to look. Look at how many different ways you can make that image look just by pressing auto and default. Okay, and then you press open image or you can press done. You can play around with the exposure. You can play around with the clarity. You can play with all kinds of things in, in raw. And then you can press done and it will take those effects into the CR2 and it will be that way. And you can click on default again. It'll go back to the original way you wanted it. And then you can save it as a JPEG and open it and all that kind of stuff. All right.